Hi everyone, Andy here, and in this video, we're gonna compare Salesforce for small businesses and Zoho CRM. These are two of the best CRMs apps out there, so we will compare them in four different categories to see which one is the right for you and your business. All right, let's get started. First, we will compare if the apps are easy to use and the user interface. Soho CRM has a mother interface, but there are other CRMs out there that have a more polished interface, like Pipedrive or HubSpot. Besides the basic modules, it has a lot of other modules available, like cases, sales orders, solutions, and even custom modules. You also have a home screen that you can customize or use the classic view. The magnifier icon will allow you to search for anything, and when you start typing, the results start showing up. The deals module is organized in a Kanban view and you can move records from one stage to the other by dragging and dropping them. The record page layout is different than other CRMs, so you have to scroll down to find related information. But this can be changed with a feature called Canva that we will go over later in the video. Also, the record page is super customizable, allowing you to show or hide sections, modify the field layout, add modules, and more. You can also see the timeline view here. In the settings page, you will find all the setting options available. As you can see, there are a lot of settings to configure, from basic personal info to custom functions. Salesforce's interface looks a little bit outdated compared to Zoho CRM and very outdated compared to HubSpot or Pipedrive. But it has some extra modules out of the box like campaigns, cases, and quotes. Keep in mind that there are other Salesforce apps, but in this video, we're focusing on the one for small businesses. The home screen shows you some basic information, but it can be customized to show other widgets. The search bar is up top, always visible. The opportunities module is also organized in a Kanban view, and you can move the records easily as well, either by dragging and dropping them or by opening them and changing the stage. The record page layout shows the basic information on the top, the related records in the center, and the activities on the right bottom. The settings page in Salesforce has more options than Zoho. You can really customize and make any changes to the CRM from the settings. But if you're not sure what you're looking for, it will take you some time to find the right setting. I think neither of these two CRMs have a great design, but in general, they are both relatively simple to use given the amount of modules and options we have available. Zoho CRM is better organized and has a slightly better design in my opinion, but like I mentioned, there are other CRMs out there that are more polished. Now let's go over the top features of each app. Zoho CRM comes with a lot of good features out of the box, but you will need time to set them up. You can customize the layouts and fields, as well as having different layouts that can be assigned to different roles. Before I mentioned Canvas, which is a new feature that lets you design and customize what the modules look like. The automations and workflows are advanced, allowing you to send emails, update fields, create tasks, create new records, trigger webhooks, and trigger custom functions, which expands your possibilities. You can also set up blueprints to make sure that your sales reps are following the sales process, as well as create approval processes, set up assignment rules, marketing attributions, and run schedules. There is even a sandbox, so you can test your changes before deploying them to your live CRM. Salesforce also comes with a lot of good features out of the box, and as with Zoho, you will need time to set them up. Automations are a really important part of Salesforce, so you can create tasks, send emails, update fields, and more. The record layouts are fully customizable, as well as the fields that you add or remove from your layouts. Something I like is that when you open records, they open a new tab, so you can go back and forth between records. Another feature is the service console module where you can manage any tickets or cases as well as creating a knowledge database. And Salesforce lets you create email marketing campaigns from the CRM. So in this category, I think Salesforce is slightly better because it has a few more features out of the box, including the email marketing module and the cases module. But keep in mind that these two features are available as a separate app in the Zoho ecosystem. So if you're looking for that functionality, you could get Zoho One, which includes all the Zoho apps, so you will have access to the CRM, the marketing app, and the case management app. The next category we're gonna compare is integrations. If you watched any of my previous videos, you might have heard me say that the CRM is the core of your business. So it's really important that it works with other apps that you might be using. The Salesforce app exchange is where you can find all the integrations and ads on that will connect Salesforce with other apps, 
or give it extra functionality. There are a lot of options here, including all the major office suites like Google Workspaces, as well as DocuSign, Asana, Formstack, LinkedIn, and a lot more. Salesforce is the most popular CRM, so that's why there are so many options here. But most of the useful apps are paid. You even have to pay for a Zapier integration. You can also find the integrations or add-ons made by Salesforce using the Salesforce Lab filter. Zoho CRM also has a marketplace where all the integrations and extensions are. You can sync your Google or Microsoft email, calendar, and contact, as well as connect it with other Zoho apps like Zoho Projects, Survey, Desk, Analytics, Webinar, Sign, Campaigns, and Contracts. Zoho CRM also integrates with most of the voice over IP phone system like RingCentral. There are some paid extensions as well, but most of them are free. Salesforce has a more robust marketplace, better organized, and with more apps than the Zoho marketplace. So make sure to review the integrations that you need before choosing one of these apps. But if you're already using other Zoho products, Zoho CRM will integrate better with them. In this last section, we're going to review pricing. Both apps have several plans available that vary in price and features, and Zoho CRM has a free plan, but Salesforce doesn't. If you want to get all the features that I mentioned in this video, the enterprise plan of Zoho CRM costs $40 per user per month, and the sales professional plan of Salesforce costs $75 per user per month. There are a few extra features in Salesforce, but remember that you can get them with a Zoho One subscription that costs $37 per user per month, as long as all your employees have a license. Pricing wise, Zoho CRM has a slight advantage because it is more budget friendly. Salesforce is almost two times more expensive and you will have to pay for some of the add-ons or integrations that are free in Zoho CRM. So I recommend Zoho CRM if you need a high level of customization and you have the time and resources to set up the customizations and automations. The support team is okay, but most of the time you will have to do the work by yourself. Also, if you're in a budget, Zoho is the best option. And keep in mind that Zoho CRM is included in the Zoho One Suite with other 40 apps to run your business. So if you're interested, I will leave a link in the description. I recommend Salesforce if you're looking for the most advanced CRM on the market that you can customize and automate. The support team is good, but for advanced workflows or automations, you have to do it on your own. And if you want a better customer support, you'll have to pay for it. Also, if you want to have a ticket system and a marketing automation app all in one place, this CRM is for you. Regarding integrations, there are more integrations available for Salesforce, but most of them are paid, which increases the overall cost. All right, guys, that's it for this video. In the description right below the like button, I'm going to leave a few links, including a full review of Salesforce and a full review of Zoho CRM. So if you want to learn more about these apps, check out those videos. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.